So, we have some announcements to make. The Supercell shop is closing. Not clickbait. This was posted on May 1st. The Supercell shop will be closing on May 31st at 12 p.m. PST. It was really sudden, but it's not really a surprise. While we have no plans to stop making Brawl Stars, Clash Royale, Boom Beach, Clash of Clans, and Heyday merchandise, we have decided that distributing them via the Supercell shop is not the best solution for the long term. Basically, what that means is that they're likely going to shut down the Supercell shop warehouse. Now, if you've ever ordered anything, especially for me in Canada, this thing costs like $20 on sale for 10 or whatever, but the customs was like $1,000 to Canada. And then on top of that, the shipping was like $10,000. Why can't I just go to Amazon and buy a coffee press for $15 with no shipping? Because Amazon already has the distribution. They have the logistics. They have everything lined out. They have the production. Everything's already streamlined. The Supercell shop just didn't have the power to ship everything out really cheaply. And I don't blame them for that. That's really huge. Amazon's like a... a a billion dollar company. What I think is gonna happen is they're gonna, they're gonna find another distributor, possibly Amazon, hopefully Amazon. Not sponsored by Amazon, but I love their, <laughs> their shipping's amazing. So on the blog post, they continue to say that our merchandise mission has always been to bring our players' favorite games to life through physical product that they will cherish forever. Closing the Supercell shop is not the end of Supercell merchandise, as we're looking for better ways to get these into the hands of our players and fans. Visit the Supercell shop before June 1st to pick up any items that you might have had your eye on. Everything in the shop right now is buy one, get one 50% off. I don't think that means that they're going to stop these merch. I just think they're just trying to liquidate the warehouse. We might see a different distributor in the next year, maybe 2000. I don't know. I don't know anything about this i just know that the superstar shop was never profitable they weren't in it to make money it was really to bring merchandise to really passionate fans now without further ado let's open up these ones we have the clash rama one we have these these are 20 dollars on sale for 10 so i guess if you go in the shop it's 15 dollars for two that's a pretty good deal i think i paid like 40 full price for it and i'm not supercell didn't pay me to do this but i just love their stuff especially their limited stuff the hog rider is limited we're gonna go through the boxes this is again we're back to the box opening channel clash arama we got the grumpy wizard from there it's an authentic super shell I, i've said supercell so many times I don't even know what it means anymore. Super Shell. I'm going to call them Super Shell. Super Shell. Clash of Rama Box. Super Cell Authentic Product. Contents on fire. Okay. Rise and Swine. <laughs> Have a bomb day. <laughs> I love it. Got that going on. Don't need this box. You can see inside how there's a fire. That's really cool. You never really see designs inside there. What sticks out for me is that they actually made everything orange, including the inside. Now, if you look at like cheap printing companies, they'll just do it right to the handle. Even the bottom is orange painted. And then this part isn't because this is the part that, that rubs. And the orange would start rubbing off if they actually colored it. So this looks like there's actually thought put into it. Contents on fire. clash rama Nice. You got the little happy wizard in there. Now, what really stands out, I don't know if this really appears on camera, but the rim is really thick. It's a lot thicker than any cup that I have. It's... I don't have a ruler here. I mean, if you have lined paper, it's one line. This is very scientific right now. It's, it's one line of paper. Space paper. I like that it's orange, but I don't know about this wizard. He's really grumpy. Let's check out the bomber. Okay, so the box actually says what it is. Have a bomb day. And then the bomb... I like that it's like just clean and white on here. And then you've got the bomb inside. I like that a lot. I like this one. It's simple. It's clean. Now you've got the limited hog rider. There's nothing in the box. <laughs> hog rider! <laughs> it looks confused. Rise and swine. And it's blue. And the, of course the bottom. Coffee drinker! Wait, did the other ones say stuff? Dead tired. <laughs> okay, so that's for coffee too. Abraca decaf. They're all kind of for coffee. I like it. <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee. I mean, orange juice. So this is perfect for me. The hog is inside there. I love it. I love it. Now what? Well, since you're already here, let's do some war attacks. I have the chest, actually. This is probably one of the biggest chests in the game right now. No, no, no. no. The Super Mega, Mega Ultra Quad Lightning chest is bigger, isn't it? I don't know anymore. I don't... I don't... I don't keep track of it. There's so much going on. I have a Sparky. That's going to be 1,000 star points. 35 Earthquakes. That was really value for me. All right. Well, I'm an expert in triple elixir, so do some war attacks. I'm an expert in triple elixir now. <laughs> so we're going to do that with a triple elixir deck. Oh, I'm just going to rush Golem. I'm going Golem. It doesn't matter. He went Golem. I went Golem. We both go Golem. Oh, yeah. That's going to be juicy. Now, my... Is lightning going to kill a, a level 11 Sparky? Not quite. Oh, that's nice. All 
I do need to put that golem in check, though. Let's get some of that going on. Oh, Night Witch. I don't like it, Night Witch. Meanwhile, I'm doing a lot of damage on the right side. Defended the left side. Doing damage on the right side. Everybody's happy. Oh, I made the mistake of doing the Sparky on top. I shouldn't have done that Electro Wizard right there. That would have... That was a huge mistake. So instead, we're just... We're just gonna bum rush him. Bring that all down. Electro Dragon. Take care of it all. This is terrible plays. I got cocky because I brought his King Tower down really low. Terrible plays. And I'm still winning. E-Drag. Take him all out. Alright, we stopped quite a bit, actually. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Alright. Now is the big push. Golem tanks for everything, while everything on the left side just goes nuts! Bring the Sparky closer. I'm happy with that. He's not gonna get through in the first 30 seconds. Maybe I'll even go for a Lightning. Take that out, take the Princess out. Good game, victory! Best triple elixir deck. It actually has a 75% win rate. Use this deck if if you haven't finished the challenge yet. Fabio's in the game. I won't. Yes. He he brought it with a triple elixir. That's exactly what I needed. Back to back triple elixirs. Show me what you got, Jonas. Show me what you've got. I'm going in. I'm going with freaking golem at the bridge. Oh, he's got classic golem. No way. Uh oh. Oh. Take him all out. That's a lot of damage still. Now I have to pay the price for this. Push them back a little bit. Log some good stuff. Maybe lightning that because my Electro Dragon needs to survive this right now. Good stuff. And that's how you defend it. Oh, beautiful. We're going in double prince. We're going in double prince. Push everything back while my baby dragon splashes the frick out of everything. Get rid of that mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to go for a baby dragon. It's going to defend it all. Maybe um, an electro dragon for good luck. And then prince again to tank everything. He can't stop it. Okay. That's what he's doing. He's going... Uh, he kind of did stop that with a fireball. Oh, dear. Alright. Then, what we need to do is tornado it all out! I need another baby dragon that seems to be really effective at defending against these golem decks. Electro dragon on that side. Maybe get the night witch away. Oh! Prince, tank, nice, nice. That's so lovely. Let's go for lightning on the Night Witch. Again, the Electro Dragons, they just defend against it all. I think I need to lightning that. I think I need to lightning that. That's... Let's try and get lightning on the Night Witch. On the Mega... Oh, <laughs> value. So value. And then I want to use that baby dragon to counterattack, so he has to do something about it. There's no way he's going to be able to put a golem at the bridge, so I'm going to use my golem as a meat shield. Ah, baby dragon splashing my stuff. I don't like it. There we go. Hold me out for the win. Best triple elixir deck ever. Beats the class golem for sure. Let's change it up, do some 2v2 in this. We prove that three times elixir is the best in the game. Ooh, I'm gonna go for the archers. Poison for sure, for sure, it's 2v2. Why would I ever pick a e-barbs? Gross. Flying machine is good, but so is the witch in 2v2. 
I'm gonna go for the flying machine. It's it's annoying. They're both they're both good choices. So they gave me a royal giant. I'm gonna show them who's the boss. Me. Uh, rascals aren't gonna stop it. That was an expensive electro wizard to stop that really that push. Oh, that one fire spirit lands on the Iwiz. This is gonna be a nice. This is gonna be a nice one. Oh no, they they logged it. They they just they stopped everything. Mission mission abort. All right, well I'm just gonna stop your inferno. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Flying machine's not enough to stop it. Not when they had zap. Okay, well now they've got to prepare for a counter attack. Battle Ram connects. Ooh. Ooh, flying machine tanks with a wizard. This is gonna be value. One hit. Two hits on the wizard. I wanna I want I want to see them do something. Maybe a log so I can use my goblin gang. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna poison that. Got the rascal girls. Now we only have to worry about the E-Wiz, so that's gonna be super easy. Ice golem there. Let's protect the ice golem. Oh my frick. Uh, I hate the Ram Rider. Take her out. Oh my goodness. That balloon's gonna deal so much damage. That death damage is gonna hurt. Oh dear. Well, we took it out. Not bad. Oh my goodness. That's that's some poison value right there. And witches are annoying. He's got fern eye for that. Oh, really good ice spirit. It's all about making forcing them to really, really use that last elixir. I mean, if he fireballs it, he could stop the death damage. Oh my goodness! Yes, Seft! <laughs> Best fireball ever! I love it! We could have pushed the other side, but that was funner to end it that way. That's it for this video. If you guys want to check out the merch, it's on sale. It's actually a good deal, but if you're in Canada or some other country that's not the US, then you're probably going to have to pay $1,000 for shipping, $10,000 for customs, and a million dollars but at least you save 50% off if you buy the second item. So you got that going for you. Thanks for watching.